Welcome to Mornings with Mark. The passage that I'm looking at this morning is Matthew chapter 13, a continuation of the recommended passage, the gospel reading for Sunday. I mentioned yesterday the parable of the mustard seed and the parable of the woman who uh, kneads the yeast into uh, the flour. I'll pick up the chapter, uh, Matthew chapter 13 and verse 44 and read on. The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field which someone found and hid. Then in his joy he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls. On finding one pearl of great value, he went and sold all that he had and bought it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net that was thrown into the sea and caught fish of every kind. When it was full, they drew it ashore, sat down, and put the good into baskets, but threw out the bad. So it will be at the end of the age. The angels will come out and separate the evil from the righteous and throw them into the furnace of the fire, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. What I've heard God saying to me today as I've reflected on this is to not grow weary in well-doing. It was just the word that I needed to hear this morning. I, as I went to prayer, wasn't feeling much like praying, to be honest. I was uh, feeling a little down about uh, the challenges that we're facing. It's a difficult time in many ways. We're still not coming back together fully as a, a congregation in worship, and that's difficult. It's hard to know. Uh, attendance in general in our society has been going down for years and years and we've done well at Salem and yet what uh, you know will that be able to withstand the ongoing pressures for a decrease in participation engagement as people are away from the church and getting used to other habits you know will the, the strong giving financially that we've experienced in this first uh, the first few months, will that be able to continue as the economy continues to struggle and as people aren't as maybe connected, engaged at church? Uh, there's plenty to worry about, right? I'm not even, as I inter interact with people, able to know, am I actually reaching people, helping people hear God's word? Is it making a difference in their lives? So kind of continuing to do the work, the ministry, in whatever ways we can, and yet not able to see people and hear from people as much of whether it's making a difference. In the midst of that, I hear these parables that talk about a little seed that grows and it takes time to grow, about the yeast and it takes time for it to be kneaded in and to, to make the transformative difference. This pearl that it takes time for the person to go off and sell everything he has. It's, it's risky to do that, and yet that's what he's got to do. And hope when he comes back, the pearl is still available. That treasure is still in the field. And then it ends with that parable that the end is coming. That the time of the angels coming and seeing what was good and righteous and what wasn't good and wasn't righteous, that the the, that the reality of what took place will be seen and it makes a difference. Do not grow weary in well-doing because the day will come when all will be apparent, when we'll be able to see that the actions we took, the words we spoke, the love we shared made a difference and will make an eternal difference. And so clearly God say to the do not grow weary in well-doing. Do not lose heart. Keep on planting that seed, kneading uh, the yeast into the, the yeast of God's word into the world. Keep on doing what God calls you to do and trust him. I invite you to join me in not losing heart in the midst of the challenges you face, that we face. May we keep at this life of mission and love of faith that God has called us to. Let's pray together. God, we again thank you for this day that you have made. Oh, we can look back and we can look forward, but this is the day you've given us to live. 
May we live it with faith. May we trust you for what is coming tomorrow. And may we thank you for the opportunities you give us today to share your word, to step forward in faith, to love one another and our neighbor. And by your grace, may your kingdom come and your will be done. We pray with thanks and confidence in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.